Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. In this particular daily dose video, I will be helping you to understand the effect of gyroscopic couple. That means, how we can calculate the gyroscopic couple direction in a very simple method. Okay, so let's begin this particular video. Now, uh, as you can see, a person is trying to rotate a rim and interestingly, this rim is not falling down. And you know what's the reason for this? The reason is there is a gyroscopic couple which is acting in the opposite to the, uh, the weight of this particular rim, which is trying to nullify the weight, of, uh, the weight of the body. Okay. And this gyroscopic couple, that is equal to I into omega into omega P. So if you try to understand, there is a rotor which is rotating with an angular velocity of omega. Let's say I'm seeing this particular from A side and uh, it is rotating with a clockwise direction. So it is quite obvious if you try to see the same rotor from this side, it will be rotating in anti-clockwise. So it's very difficult how we can visualize because if I say a person who is standing from A side is saying the rotor is rotating clockwise and a person who is standing from the B side, he'll be saying that the rotor is rotating in anti-clockwise. So both are correct. So for that, you need to have a very standardized process to identify the direction of uh, omega, which is nothing but the right hand thumb rule. Okay, so right hand thumb rule will be telling us about what's the direction of omega. That means, let us suppose if I say there is a rotor, this is side A and it is rotating in a clockwise direction. So, you'll be turning your fingers in that particular direction. This will be, this thumb will be telling us about the direction of omega. So, in this case, the direction of omega is basically from A to B. This is the direction of omega, right? Now, what is happening over here is, as the omega as the omega uh, axis also changing but that means the direction also also changing due to the change in direction of the omega there's a very interesting uh, parameter coming into the picture that we call it as the angular velocity of pre uh, precision which basically is the uh, which basically comes into the picture due to the change in direction of omega and due to this omega p only we are having this gyroscopic couple right but in this video, we'll be trying to understand what will be the direction of gyroscopic couple and how to identify the gyroscopic effect in one of the applications. And you can apply the same method in one of the homework. I'll be telling you, I'll be giving you one homework and you try to apply that short trick in that. So let us suppose I'm having an aeroplane. Okay, I'm having an aeroplane and this is the rotor axis. This is the rotor which is uh, connected to the front. This is the front side, which we also call it as bow. And this is the rear side, which we also call it as the tail end. Okay. Now, let us suppose this is rotating. This is rotating with a uh, omega. Uh, uh, that is the angular velocity of the rotor. And I am seeing from the rear side, it is having a, let us suppose, a clockwise direction. Okay. Now, same problem again comes into the picture. If you try to see the same uh, aeroplane from the front side, this will be, this rotor will be rotating with in a uh, anti-clockwise direction but uh, the same if you try to see from the rear it will be having a clockwise so again let us standardize this now uh, the trick is starting over here is you have to see this particular aeroplane from the rear side always okay if the direction if, if they are viewing from the front side try to convert your perspective from the rear side let us suppose in the question they are saying the rotor is rotating anti-clockwise when you're seeing from the front end that means from the rear side it will be having a clockwise direction so let us suppose I'm saying this is an aeroplane. You can do it at your home, this particular simple trick. This is the front side, this is the rear side. Okay. So from the rear side, if you try to see it is having a clockwise direction. So try to rotate your fingers in this because this will be telling about the direction about or direction of omega. So thumb is pointing towards the front side. So this is the uh, uh, we can say the direction of omega. Now what is happening? Let us suppose the aeroplane is taking a left turn. Let us suppose that at this particular aeroplane is taking a left turn. Now, when it takes a left turn, this pen will be pointing towards me. This pen will tie to turns towards me, right? So, this thumb will be pointing towards me. Let us take this pen uh, uh, like this. The thumb is still pointing towards me. So, if you try to open your fingers, this is the active couple, active gyroscopic couple. And we always know that the gyroscopic effect is always due to the reactive gyroscopic couple. So this direction is a active. So reactive will be just opposite of that. So reactive will be this. So the, the front side will try to lift up. That means the bow side will try to move up and the tail side will try to move down. So by using the simple trick, now you can easily identify what is the gyroscopic effect. Because if I say uh, uh, this will be 
the active couple the reactive will be just opposite of that this will be the reactive which will be having the same magnitude that is i omega omega p okay that means if this aeroplane if it is trying to take a left turn the front side will try to lift up and the rear side will try to move down and this is the gyroscopic effect so if you if you have understood this and i'm giving you a homework so that you can try this at your home what will happen if an aeroplane when viewed from the rear side and the rotor is rotating an anti clockwise direction and, and and it is taking a right turn what will happen what will be the gyroscopic effect what will be the gyroscopic effect tell me in the comment section and let's see how many of you will be able to give me the correct uh, the correct gyroscopic effect that means what will happen to the bow side and what will happen to the tail side okay so this is a homework you can do this exercise just by taking a pen and try to uh, try to apply this concept and try to excel in this particular topic okay so this is it from my side and you can join me on my telegram channel that is uh, uh, mechanical by suraj where you will be getting almost every notification pdfs and class notes and i'm all always active in that particular group right so thank you guys for connect uh, for uh, uh, connecting with byju's exam prep and uh, for more such awesome content please try to subscribe this particular channel so thank you guys stay connected and stay safe bye bye